Hello everyone, welcome to Watnavsha channel for UPSC examination. In today's video, we are going to focus on the structure of stomata. As you know, stomata is a very important anatomical structure in the plants which helps in the gaseous exchange during the transpiration as well as in the photosynthesis. Before starting the video, I request you to join the Telegram channel of the same name that is the Watnavsha channel for UPSC examination on the Telegram platform. All the stuff related with this channel is uploaded on that platform as well. And if you are studying the botany subject or for any examination that is for UPSC, BPSC or say the graduation or post graduation purposes, this channel is for you because constantly we are uploading the video relating with the botany subject. So if you are studying the botany, please subscribe to the botany channel for UPSC examination. So let's start the structure of stomata. Now the stomata in a plant is a very minute elliptical aperture. As you can see in this diagram, it, we are talking about this aperture. This is the small minute aperture which is present in the stoma. When the stoma is open, this aperture looks a uh, bigger in size, while when the stomata is closed, this aperture looks very small. So stomata have the very minute and elliptical aperture. With that, stomata is also surrounded by the two modified epidermal parenchymatous cells called guard cells. Both these cells, that is, this is the cell number one and this is the cell number two, both these cells are the guard cells. And these guard cells are the modified epidermal parenchymatous cells. That is, this is an Tears of typical leaf in the plants and in the lower area as well as in the upper part in you know, both sides we have here the epidermal cells now in these epidermal cells there are two cells these are two epidermal cells are quite modified cells to do the function of guard cells and this is why they are often described as a modified epidermal parenchymatous cells so stomata is the combination of two things that is it first it has the minute elliptical aperture in the center and this minute aperture is surrounded by the two guard cells and this whole structure together considered as a stomata. So the stomata is composed of two things, a minute aperture and then the two guard cells. All right. Now let's see the shape of stomata. The shape of stomata is a kidney shape in the dicotyledonous plants while it is an dumbbell shape in the monocotyledonous plants. As you can observe here, this is a dicotyledonous stomata which is showing the kidney shape stomata. So this is a kidney shaped stomata which is found in the dicotyledon plants while in monocots the dumbbell shaped stomata is found. So when you think about the shape of stomata it is kidney shape in dicotyledons while it is dumbbell shape in the monocotyledons. All right. Now let's talk about the guard cells. The inner wall of the guard cells is thick while the outer wall is thin. As you can see in this picture this is an outer wall of the guard cell while this is an inner wall of the guard cell. This inner wall of this guard cell is very thick as compared to the outer wall of the guard cells. So you have to remember that the inner wall being having the secondary deposition is very thick while the outer wall of the guard cells is thin in nature. All right. Secondly, these guard cells are the living cells. That is the that is they has all the living components and the regular metabolic processes are occurring in these guard cells. Then these cells have the peripheral granular cytoplasm and in a center the vacuole. As you can see here, these cells has the peripheral granular cytoplasm and a vacuole molecule in the center of the guard cells. That is the cytoplasm which is granular in nature is present in the periphery that is at the boundaries of the cell while the central area of the guard cell is covered by the vacuole. All right. It also contains the nucleus and many chloroplasts. These guard cells also contains the nucleus and more than two or say many chloroplasts. All right. So being rich in chloroplast, these guard cells also perform the process of photosynthesis. All right. So the guard cells in addition to peripheral granular cytoplasm and vacuole, they also contain the nucleus plus chloroplast. All right. The epidermal cells are without the chloroplast. Here, the one important thing you have to notice that the lower epidermis, in the lower epidermis, we have here the two modified cells. We call them as a guard cells. Right. These two guard cells are the part of the epidermis. That is, they are modified epidermal cells and they contain many chloroplast. But on the other hand, the remaining epidermal cells do not have any type of chloroplast. All right. So this is a very important analytical feature in the stomata that its guard cells contains the chloroplast, but the epidermal cells which surrounding these stomatas do not contain any type of chloroplast. That is, they are devoid of the chloroplast. All right. 
the epidermal cells surrounding the guard cells are called as the subsidiary cells that is it is found in some plants that the guard cells of the stomata are surrounded by the epidermal cells then in a such a condition these epidermal cells are called as the subsidiary cells all right so here we have seen the six point about the guard cells that the inner wall of guard cell is thicker while the outer wall is thinner secondly guard cells are living cells then it has a peripheral granular cytoplasm and in a center they have the vacuole it also contains the nucleus and many chloroplasts these epidermal cells are the epidermal cells which are surrounding the guard cells are without the chloroplast and those are cells those epidermal cells which are surrounding the guard cells are also called as the subsidiary cells i have intentionally written down all these points on this slide because many students asking for the written notes for the particular lecture so while watching the lecture you can directly take notes from the slide and you do not have to worry about the notes of every topic all right so so i hope you got some basic knowledge about this stomata in this particular lecture thank you very much for watching this lecture please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject and if you haven't yet subscribe to our channel please subscribe to the botany option channel for upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one